everybody, welcome back to the Study Tube project. If you are new here, then we are a team of 18 core creators who get everyone else involved as well. If you want to join in, then the link to send in a submission is in the description. Essentially, we post a kind of three to 15-ish minute video every day, educational content to try and help you guys get through the lockdown and, well, hopefully into the future as well. <laughs> Today it is my turn, my name is Rosie, my own channel is here, it is Rosie Crawford and all of my other socials are just a little roo. I graduated from the University of Oxford last summer with a degree in archaeology and anthropology and next year I am going to Cranfield University to do a masters in forensic archaeology and anthropology. On my previous video for this channel I asked you what sort of things you wanted to see, what periods in history and a lot of people said human evolution. Now. Lucky for you guys, that is one of my favourite areas of archaeology and anthropology because that is where they really fuse together as one subject. So today's video is just going to be a very quick introduction to some of the early hominins that might have been our ancestors and they are all from the genus Homo so there are older ones such as Australopithecines and Paranthropus but this video is just going to give you a really brief description of some homo hominins and then after this at half past six you can also head to my channel to learn about the origins of language using the information that I'm going to teach you in this video to help. I was going to put them in the same video but it was way too long and my raw files were over two hours so we adapt and change. <laughs> So the first word that you need to know is the word hominin. Now a hominin is essentially an ancient form of human, so that could be any of the following Neanderthal, Heidelbergensis, Erectus or Homo sapien, which I'm going to explain, don't you worry. But it's a collective term for all of them that are like a direct human ancestor. Now using my favourite human evolution book from Lucy to Language, this is by Donna Johansson and Blake Edgar, I'm going to just show you some pictures of the different hominins that I'm going to be talking about and referencing in this video so that you can picture it better in your minds. So up first is a Homo erectus, now this is just the cranium of a Homo erectus so I'm aware it's not the most helpful <laughs> of uh, images but a Homo erectus is a type of hominin that evolved around 1.8, 1.9 million years ago and was around for over a million years. Homo erectus was the first hominin to leave Africa and they went to Asia. There's quite a lot of Homo erectus skeletons in Asia. Here's a better picture of our Homo erectus. Our next hominin was around from about 700 to 800,000 years ago until around 200,000 years ago and that is Homo heidelbergensis. Now it is thought that Homo heidelbergensis is the common ancestor of both Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis so it was at heidelbergensis that they split off. So we are not directly descended from Homo neanderthalensis, they are like a a parallel ancestor that stopped and we carried on. This particular Homo heidelbergensis skull is one that I will be referencing in my video so I'll show you this picture again when it comes to it but this is Cranium 5 found at Atapueca in Spain. Next up we have Homo neanderthalensis. Here they are. You've probably heard of Neanderthals more than any other ancient hominin and that is because basically classical kind of antiquarian archaeology in the Victorian times and since then has been very obsessed with Neanderthals and how essentially in theory they are to humans. They were used as a central piece of a social evolutionist argument that we are the superior race and when I say we I mean humans in general but also kind of the white colonial people in charge of the archaeology, the men in particular. And finally, we have you guys. This Homo sapien is from Kafsa Cave in Israel. This is from around 100,000 years ago. And as you can see, it is very different looking to the European from Cro-Magnon. This is likely because of climatic, you know, adaptations and also because there is a lot of time in between these. There's a whole 70,000 years of evolution between the two. 
So you're gonna have big differences. <laughs> Homo sapiens evolved in Africa. The earliest known evidence of Homo sapiens is around 320,000 years ago in Morocco. And the next earliest we find is in Israel and the Middle East. And then we start to find them in Europe quite a bit later though. Neanderthals haven't been found in Africa, so it does look like once Homo heidelbergensis was out of Africa, Homo sapiens evolved in Africa and Neanderthals evolved in Europe, which is why, actually, if you test European DNA, it's like most Europeans essentially have 1-3% to Neanderthal DNA, as there was a period of time where Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis lived together. So thank you for watching this video, I know it was quick but I wanted to give you a brief introduction. A few of you asked what the different hominins are, um, you asked me what a Homo erectus was, what a Neanderthal was, so now you know. If you would like to know about the origins of language and the different perhaps language capabilities of the hominins that I have discussed then head over to my channel now and you can find out. If you guys are interested in learning more about Neanderthals and how you can get involved with archaeology, a site which I dug last year is called Cima de las Palomas and I vlogged my whole experience there so I'll link that in the pinned comment too because I know a lot of you are really into archaeology and looking for digs to go on and just what archaeology entails because I know it's quite a random subject and a lot of people don't know what it is, it's very associated with like Indiana Jones and this vlog tells you exactly what a dig is like on a site looking at these hominins that I've just been talking about. So head over there too. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Thank you for watching and we will see you tomorrow at 6pm.